Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I'm going to share how you can open a GST file in the Silhouette Studio software with the Silhouette website migrations that we have been going through the past few months. Not all files are syncing correctly to the Silhouette library. Someday they will. Someday it'll get all worked out. But for now, if you have to do a direct download, you can find instructions on how to direct download in the description of this video below. I'm going to show how to step-by-step -step open a GST file, which is a Silhouette file. It is an older file type. So I have found one of these in my purchase history. I'm going to download the file and it's going to download to where I want it. Since this is the file name, I am renaming those files so that I can um, know what it is. So I'm going to choose save. It's going to save there. Then I'm gonna come up here for a quick access. I'm gonna click on this file. I'm on a Windows computer. I will also share steps for Mac users because it is a little bit different. Now this is the zipped folder so it i need to extract this i'm simply going to click right here to open the to go back one step to the file so you can see here here is my zippered folder you need to unzip this or decompress it so i'm going to right click i'm going to choose extract all and then it's going to ask me where i want that folder saved so i'm going to extract it right here you can see these two files how they differ zipper means you cannot access the full files unzipped or uncompressed is over here. So I'm gonna double click, double click again on files, and then you can see that there's a GST file. Now, you can also see that my icon here currently shows like a document. It is an older Silhouette file type, but it will open in both Windows and Mac computers in the Silhouette Studio software. So if I come over here, I'm gonna show you two ways on a Windows computer. In the Silhouette Studio software, I'm going to come to my design screen, and then I'm simply going to use File, Open, and I'm gonna find that file. So I'm going to click on this unzipped folder, double click, double click on Files, and I'm going to double click or click on that GST file and click Open. It's going to open that onto my design mat. In this case, all of the pieces are individual. Um, that's a different issue, and we'll go into that later. So I'm gonna click on a new design mat. I'm going to show you a second way on a Windows computer. Much like with SVG files, you can tell your computer what program to open a certain file type with. If I right click on this and I choose open with, in this case, it does give me the Silhouette Studio software as, as an option, but for most users, it will not. So you can, choose choose another app and then you can scroll through all of your apps on your computer if you do not see it show up in the first list continue on and choose choose an app on your pc then you're going to find the silhouette software on your pc so i scroll all the way down this is my windows c drive program files i'm going to choose silhouette america Silhouette Studio and Silhouette Studio here. Once I do that, it shows up at the top there. You can choose always or just once. I'm simply gonna choose just once, but most people, if you want that file to always open in Silhouette Studio, when you double click on where it's saved, select always. I just use file open, that's easy. Um, but if you want to double click and have it open in Silhouette, select always. So I'm going to choose just once and it's going to open that file. So here's the second design. Now if you did select, let's go back here, I, I will show it just so you can see. If you did select the silhouette always, it's going to show a silhouette icon here just like when you change an SVG file to automatically open in Silhouette Studio directly. So now I'm going to close this and I'm going to come over here just to a new design mat. I have a few screenshots from my wonderful, fabulous admin, Teresa, who is a Mac user. So I'm going to open up those screenshots and we can take a look at the Mac. On a Mac computer, you could get a message like this. 
telling you that it cannot verify if that's because it's a very old silhouette file and probably way before any of these Mac OS systems were in even a thought. So it still will open, but you may have to tell your computer specifically to open that file. So I will show the other screenshots here of what you may need to do. First, when you open your file for a Mac computer, you can double click on the zipped folder. It's going to automatically extract and you will need to access it through the extracted folder. You're going to see a screen such as this where you see the GST file. I believe it's a right click that you can get this message or if you click on it, um, it's going to give you this message here and you can click choose application. Then you're going to see a screen that looks something like this. It will vary, your programs will vary depending on your computer. This is a screenshot from Teresa's computer. So you're going to select in this bottom window down here, all applications. And then you're going to search for the Silhouette software. So here's a look at that screen with the little enable. So you're going to select all applications and then scroll down in this list of applications on your computer and select the Silhouette Studio software. Then it should open in the Silhouette Studio software with no problems. You could either double click on it to open it or use file open. So hopefully those steps have helped in order to be able to open GST files. Again, they are a Silhouette Studio file and they can be used. They are an older file type, which also means that when you open it, it may look something like this. And as you can see in this one, when I select all of the pieces, it comes in with all of the compound paths released. You can still work with these files. If you have a file that has absolutely no color and it is a layered design, check out the links in the description below. I have a blog post and written tutorial on how to work with those. Again, they were older files back and designed when people really used cutting machines for paper piecing. And we did not have the advances in the technology and the design programs that we do currently. This is, I'm speaking like the 10 years ago or more actually now, when we getting closer to 15 or so. So back when it was before vinyl, before it was um, easy layering, things like that, before files could even have color in a file because it was too large of a file to maintain that data and easily be downloaded. So that may explain a little bit. Check out that link below. If you have additional questions, please let me know in the comments below. And thanks for joining me. Have a great day.